Welcome to the inaugural edition of Letters from the Long Box, a collaboration with uh, myself, Tivo from Lords of the Long Box, and Mikey Sutton from the Geekosity page. So Mikey made a post that uh, on a weekly basis, we're going to try to answer as many viewer questions as possible. And I've asked Mikey to expand that to the Lords of the Long Box members too. So after this video post, leave a comment below asking any questions about uh, any scoops regarding Hollywood movies or TV shows regarding comic book shows, movies, DCU, Marvel, Star Wars stuff, whatever you want. And then we will use it on next week's show. And if we use your question, you will get a Marvel no prize. <laughs> but, you know, as we always do, let's get things kicked off the right way. Assemble the world's three greatest heroes, created from the cosmic legends of the universe. Their mission to fight injustice, to right that which is wrong, and to serve all mankind. So, once again, welcome to the first ever Letters from the Long Box, the uh, viewer. Q&A, where you submit your questions about anything in the DCEU, the MCU, CW, any basically anything TV, comic book show related, go ahead and ask us after this video post and also from the Geekosity page. And Mikey, uh, Mikey Sutton, our friend, is uh, collaborating with the Lords, and I'm going to do this probably every Thursday. We're going to have letters from the long box. Think of it as the back of a comic book where you read the letters page and the editor finally reads your letter or you got posted. Isn't that fun? If we pick your question, you will get a Marvel no prize mailed to you uh, via something. But <laughs> let's get right to it, boys and girls. The first question is from our friend James Sock. Will Charlie Cox ever come back as Daredevil? Mikey Sun says, most likely Kevin Feige was a big fan of the Daredevil TV series and Charlie Cox has got a huge following as playing Daredevil Matt Murdock himself. So they're trying to get it. It'll probably happen. So like Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool, no need to recast. He has major, major popularity. So thank you, James Sock, for that one. Next up is a question from uh, Salvador Villarreal Jr. Will Disney buy Sony Pictures? I know this question is probably too early to answer, but I'm very curious about Spider-Man's future. Maybe. But Mikey's banking more on via Viacom CBS. Second uh, aggressive suitor right now is Apple TV. The coronavirus hit Disney pretty hard, and so it's kind of hard for them to make any major acquisition, especially with the stock price so low. But recently, if you notice, Sony's been kind of uh, selling some of their bits and pieces here and there. They just got rid of uh, the newest Tom Hanks World War II film over to Apple TV. Everybody is getting into the streaming wars right now. Everybody needs content. HBO Max just launched with tons and tons of content. Netflix has tons of content. So everybody's trying to get up to speed. Disney Plus needs to get, you know, they have all their Fox library. So trust me, everybody wants to get it. Apple TV really needs it more than anybody else. They don't really have a lot of original programming or a library to, to speak of. So if Sony doesn't want to get into that field of streaming, then they may just sell it out. Then you never know. All right, next question up is coming from Kyle Barzini. Will there be a Spider-Man Deadpool team up down the line? Mikey says, yes. He's been hearing about a Spider-Man and Amazing Friends movie with Deadpool for quite a while now. Nothing has moved forward yet, but it's only a matter of time for it to happen. Obviously, they would have to tone Deadpool down a lot for that to happen. But one of the most popular team-ups in the comics was a Spider-Man Daredevil miniseries. I think it went six issues. It got so popular that they end up making it an ongoing. Uh, so you never know. Two of the most popular Marvel characters together, it would make a billion dollars. But Deadpool would have to tone down just a wee bit to meet Peter Parker in his young uh, or late teenage years or maybe even early 20s. Next question is comes up from, I'm going to help you say your name right. I always see you. So Kieran Benjamin Bug, will Lady Sif show up in the MCU again? Yes, there's been talk of her guesting or co-starring in a Disney Plus series. So um, really it could be anything. It could be maybe a female-led Avengers, something along the lines of a, in the Thor film. 
definitely she could appear in the Loki series. So it's just a matter of time. I don't know if the actress, I think it's Jamie Alexander, she played a great lady Sif. And she was one of the few characters on the MCU to actually come onto ABC TV. Remember, she showed up on one of the early seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was pretty cool. But, you know, she's doing her things now. All right. Next up, and I hope you say your name right. I'm going to say your name is Grant uh, Fuchs. I don't want to pronounce it incorrectly and get the uh, ding here. <laughs> Grant Fuchs asks, have you heard any updates on WB and the Ezra Miller situation? Uh, Mike, this is all quiet on the Western front. WB was hoping the controversy would fade, and it has. And no charges were filed against Ezra Miller, which really helped his cause. And also, there's quite a few things that have been happening in 2020. I don't know if you noticed it. So all of this bad news is good for uh, Ezra Miller. And all of his stuff went deep, deep into the back burner. It really helps us cause that there's no legal standpoint, meaning that he had no official charges put against him. So we'll see where that goes. So time heals all wounds, right? You remember the whole James Gunn thing? He was kicked off of Guardians of the Galaxy. He had a little time come back, and then he's coming back, and he's doing Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So this is how the PR cycle works in Hollywood sometimes. Last question is from Eugene Yang. Will there be a Lucifer Season 5, and will Constantine be in it? Uh, seasons 5 and 6, yes. Haven't heard anything about John Constantine appearing, but it's possible. Uh, I do believe uh, Lucifer has kind of had his second win on Netflix and it's got a lot more, a more popularity uh, on Netflix. Uh, this is just coming from me. I enjoyed the first uh, few seasons of it. Um, Constantine rumors have been battled around uh, quite a while now. I mean, the character that plays Constantine, the actor that plays Constantine, is, is pretty much perfect to the point where he voiced him in the Apocalypse War animated feature. If you haven't seen that, it's great. DC animated movie that kind of, um, how do I say this? It kind of resets or re is going to reboot the DC EU in the animated universe. Anyway, the first movie coming out that is Superman Man of Tomorrow, I believe, is going to be the reset of the DC animated universe. So Apocalypse War was kind of the end of that. Uh, but, uh, you know, to make a long story short, Constantine voiced him, the actor voiced the character Constantine in the animated film. So he's kind of like the perfect person to play the role of Constantine. And hopefully he'll be in Swamp Thing. Um, so, you know, that's it, man. So nice, six easy questions. So if you have any questions like that, that you'd like to answer, Mikey will post another, uh, segment like this on Gigosity. Also, if you want, we will comb through your YouTube questions as well. So after this video posts, leave a comment below. And if we use your question, you'll get a pat on the back and a Marvel no prize. So we will see you guys next Tuesday for the cover price top 10. And until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in those long boxes. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe.